Hi Libras, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be looking at your energies for the mid month of July 2022 Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. So in this video, I'll be looking at your recent past, your present and your just coming up to be the recent future. Okay, so this will be a situation based reading. Whatever is has happened in the past, it will be related in the present according to the past and then according to the present it will be told to you what is coming up towards you in the future and how to, you can handle the things what kind of opportunities you are going to um, be you're going to get okay so you can take that opportunity or whether that opportunity is good or not good so there are some things which we will see let's get started for my Libras Libras, mid-July 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. What's going on for my Libras? And as you all know that this is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. At the back of the deck, we have strength. Okay. So it's like your energies. Maybe you are uh, your universe or uh, maybe you're feeling a little less courageous okay sometimes we feel that we are weak we have become um really things are not going the way we want them it's like that okay so you need some strength this is what is really required which is there in your heart you have it but maybe you're losing it or maybe you're not able to see it see that strength see that courage which you have okay so that can be one thing which is really making me feel um it's a feeling of losing something i don't know but i felt by seeing this card although it does, doesn't mean the same with what i'm saying but uh i feel that you're thinking that somebody something is going away okay or you're losing something that feeling of things really shifting or drifting apart you know that that feeling is there we'll see what exactly the situation is now let's see we have in the past energies as the queen of cups four of wands four of pentacles okay it tells me about a marriage for some of you maybe you are married to a person in the past you might have married you really um, were in love with that person queen of cups shows me a cancer energy Possible might not be possible, but a person who was um, somebody who used to whom you really thought that a person is going to be with you forever and all of a sudden there was some kind of uh, of an issue. Maybe somebody tried to hold something. Okay, we can say that holding something as a truth, holding something as some money holding something from the past okay so maybe you are the one or the other person was the one there was some holding on into some kind of an issue in the past you know when we are not able to let go of something maybe either you are not able to let go of a person in the past only there was something with this person maybe maybe you are married to that person maybe you are just in a you were just in a relationship with that person but uh, there was something there was some there was strong happiness energies you know four of wands it always is so good to come in the cards but uh, when we talk about emotions when we talk about all the things you know um it feels like somebody was trying to hold on to someone hold on to something maybe you were dealing with the person who was holding on to their past or you were the one who was holding on to your past or some some other issue in your life where you didn't know whether you the, the path which you have chosen is right or not so sometimes we become very confused about the decision making okay let's see your present energies six of swords chariot and king of swords okay maybe in regards with that issue you have already taken a decision maybe in the past you were involved with a person or with a situation 
but you might have taken a decision maybe of going away from that person or you know moving on going away then moving on as well a lot of things has happened a lot of things have happened basically because um now it's it's you who is becoming very strong but still you lack some strength the the things are very strong now the situation has become very strong but still you are in that mode you are in that zone of um, i feel that you are in the middle still you are in the middle you know that a part of you has to move on but still you are looking back although the six of uh, six of swords never look back you know when it goes towards something calmer but somewhere it makes me feel that you are either you're waiting for somebody or uh, you're waiting for a closure the closure has not happened yet with this person with this situation in the past where you either you were the one who is holding on to something a sorry maybe you are expecting a sorry from someone you're expecting something and that is why it's making your situation very really weak because uh, someone has taken a strong decision in your whole process maybe it's you who has taken this decision or maybe somebody else has taken this decision but it is big and it makes you feel that that okay what to do now you know a decision has been made with this person with this thing whatever this is it's, it's really complicated with you because you know the the chariot and six of swords coming up it's always very beautiful it's always a feeling of moving on but in these two cards i'm really it's really not i'm not able to see it's like you are stuck in the middle you know as i told you a part of you really want to move on but a part is still there in the past so the th the closure has not happened yet it's the closure which hasn't happened that is the main message of your reading today that is what i feel and you do not even have that strength of closing it there that is what you are feeling very weak where you are feeling very very weak you do not have strength to close it you do not have strength to end all these things and to start a new beginning with yourself let's see the future energies now okay the moon three of swords and ace of swords clarification clarity communication i don't know whether the communication will happen or not okay because of the three of swords and the ace of swords maybe a communication because that closure will only happen after a communication might be not possible a communication not possible uh, because of one person or because of one maybe you are not ready to communicate or they are not ready whatever it is somebody is not ready for any communication somebody is playing games here um the communication is really hard to say that it will happen but the closure will happen okay because sometimes we have to accept the endings the ending is very the ending is very bad with this situation in which has happened in the past okay maybe you were in a very toxic relationship you were in that place where people used you or uh, it was a lot you were going through but along with that it's really it's hard to say it's hard to let go of the situation which happened but i see clarity you are going to get some clarity but with you being very courageous you know courageous to accept the bad things courage is enough to let go courage is enough to just accept what the universe wants you to do sometimes we do not do what the universe wants us us to us to do we just do whatever we want to do so 
this is one thing which they which in these cards in your closure thing the universe really wants you to tell you that sometime just letting go of a person letting go of something money letting go of uh, emotions letting go of a person situation whatever it is it will really help you to move on in your life the chariot will definitely move ahead after that definitely the moving on is there in your life you know it but the holding on is still there and that is the reason the closure hasn't happened and because of the closure a new beginning a new start in your life is not happening okay so yeah that's all from my side my dear libras i hope this helps and we will meet you in the next video till then bye